drawing the influence line for moment at A. Place a hinge at A. Apply a positive moment to the hinge. This causes the beam to deform like this. Therefore, no positive moment develops at A. And the maximum negative moment at A occurs when the moving load is at the leftmost hinge on the beam. To determine the magnitude of this negative moment, place the load at the hinge and analyze the beam. The analysis shows that the maximum negative moment at A has a magnitude of 200 kilonewton meters. Drawing the influence line for moment at B. Place a hinge at B. Apply a positive moment to the hinge. This causes the beam to deform like this. A close inspection of the influence line reveals that maximum negative moment at B occurs when the load is at the leftmost hinge on the beam. And the maximum positive moment at B occurs when the load is at the right end of the beam. And at B, To determine the maximum negative moment, place the load at the left hinge and analyze the beam. This gives us a bending moment of negative 100 kilonewton meters for point B. To determine the maximum positive moment at B, place the load at the right end of the beam and analyze it. Therefore, the maximum positive bending moment at B is 100 kilonewton meters.